This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the Premier Trade Market Wrap with Ivan Caesar. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Premier Trade Market Wrap for Monday, August 6, 2007. The markets close higher on the outlook that a kind FOMC statement may lead to rescuing of credit woes. The Dow Jones closed higher by 286 points at 13,468. NASDAQ was higher by 36 at 2547, and the S&P 500 also gained ground, closing at 1467 higher by 34,621. This week's FOMC meeting will dominate a week of only a few economic indicators. Although it remains the minority view, some economists think Fed officials will decide to rewrite the statement in light of the difficulties in the credit markets, which could hurt an already weak economy. Most economists think the Fed will hold firm its previous statements from June that the risk of higher inflation remain is predominant policy concern. American Home Mortgage filed for bankruptcy protection, the latest casualty of a mortgage industry that has plunged into distress. The Melville, New York-based company's request for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection caps more than a week of turmoil that was the last of the 10th biggest U.S. home lender. Chrysler's new private owners say they have picked former Home Depot boss Bob Nardelli to head the U.S. automaker in its effort to return to financial health. The board of the reorganized Chrysler Group elected Nardelli as chairman and chief executive. Nardelli, who became the chief executive of Home Depot in 2000, resigned abruptly in January after criticism over his pay and the company's plumbing share price. Bear Stearns said President and Co-Chief Operating Officer Warren Spector has resigned following the meltdown of two hedge funds that invested in risky mortgage-backed securities. Walmart stores in India's Bharti Enterprises said they have signed an equal joint venture for Indian cash and carry and retail back-end operations. The joint venture to be called Bharti Walmart Private Limited would open 10 to 15 cash and carriers or wholesale facilities in India over seven years. In earnings news, Japan Airlines said it cut its net loss for the April-June quarter 84% from a year ago by altering routes and using smaller aircraft. Losses at Japan's largest air carrier stood at 4.2 billion yen, or 35.7 million U.S. dollars, for its fiscal first quarter, improving from 26.7 billion yen last year. United Health Group said it raised its 2007 earnings outlook to $3.45 to $3.50 per share, excluding items because of adjustments related to its 2006 Medicare business. The insurer earned two cents per share more in the second quarter than is stated in its preliminary result report on July 12th when it's raised its full year forecast. Scheduled economic reports for Tuesday include the retail chain index for the week of August 4th, productivity for the second quarter, the FOMC statement, and consumer credit for the month of June. Scheduled earnings report for Tuesday includes Cisco System, Harris Entertaining, Papa John's International, Avis Budget Group, Dean Foods, Bayer AG, El Paso Corp, Churchill Downs, Allied Healthcare, Playboy Enterprises, and Yamana Gold. This has been the Premier Trade Market Wrap for Monday, August 6, 2007.